Hello everyone, this is Alice Gao. In this video, I'm going to solve the question regarding the optimality of A star search with multipath pruning. The question says, is there a situation in which A star search with multipath pruning discards the optimal solution? The correct answer is yes. To prove this, we need to come up with an example to show that this happens. Let's look at an example. A student came up with a similar example and then modified it for this lecture. S is a start node and G is a goal node. There are two paths from S to G. The top path is SBG with a total cost of 15. The bottom path is SABG with a total cost of 12. The bottom path is the optimal solution. You can verify that the given heuristic is admissible. Let's trace A star search on the search graph. You should expect that the algorithm finds and returns the top path, which is not optimal. First, add the start state S to the frontier. Next, remove S from the frontier and add S to the explore set. S is not a goal node, let's expand it. S has two successors, A and B. Let's add SA and SB to the frontier. SA has a F value of 9, and SB has a F value of 7. Next, SB has a lower F value. Let's remove B from the frontier. And add B to the explore set. B is not a goal node. Let's expand it. B has one successor G. Let's add SBG to the frontier with a F value of 15. Next, SA has the smaller F value of 9. Let's remove A from the frontier and add A to the explore set. A is not a goal. Let's expand it. A has one successor B. Let's add SAB to the frontier with a F value of 4. Next, SAB has the smallest F value of 4. Let's remove B from the frontier. B is already in the explore set. Multipath pruning happens here, and we will not add B's successors to the frontier. Let's continue. Next, SBG is the only path on the frontier. Let's remove G from the frontier and add G to the explore set. G is a goal. Let's stop and return the solution SBG with a cost of 15. This example shows you that A star search with multipath pruning may return a suboptimal solution first. Let's reflect on this example. What went wrong? After expanding S, we chose to expand B before expanding A, since SB has a smaller F value. This causes us to find the top path to B first, but this is a longer path to B. Later on, when we found a shorter path to B through A, we had to discard it due to multipath pruning. The real culprit is the heuristic value of A. Suppose that we use the heuristic values to estimate the cost of the path from A to B. This can be estimated as H of A minus h of b, which is equal to 8 minus 2, which is 6. Now, 6 is a gross overestimate of the actual cost, which is 1. Because of this overestimate, we assume that the bottom path is longer and decided to explore the top path first. I invite you to take this example and think about which components of the example are necessary for this proof to work. If you want to tweak this example, which component could you change and which component must stay the same? That's everything on this question regarding A star search with multipath pruning. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.